today. Just have a little fun tonight, y'all. That was just a little bit of bondage pig from back in the day. Who wants to hear some dire laceration stuff? You want to hear some of that old school shit?
was young, I played Murder in a Murder in so long, I forgot how it went. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Thank you, Jay.
noise. I hate it when I write two riffs that I really enjoy and they like neither one of them fucking go together. I'll show you what I'm talking about. No. Hold on. No. Little bastard. Alright, I'll show you what I'm talking about. I started writing this. Then, like, I wrote this. And neither one of them go together. Except, like, if I do, like, some open notes, like a little breakdown, just... But like, neither one of those can go together. Which means I can either just keep it as real, so I can write two different sounding songs. I mean, I could do that, you know, but... I don't know. How are you guys doing tonight? Doing good? I love noise. One of these days, I'm gonna learn how to how to play "Bring the Noise" by Anthrax. Just because of Public Enemy, I love those dudes. They're awesome. Probably one of these days, I get my little guitar thing. What's up, Brian? I'm taking a break for a second. I'll just take a little break in a minute. I'm going to smoke this, talk to you guys, and hang out for a second. What the fuck? Okay. Look, I'll smoke this real quick. I'll talk to you guys. What's up, dude? I don't know you can invite motherfuckers into the video. Ha! That's pretty cool. Dude, that's pretty fucking awesome that you added me on that shit. Do what? Pretty awesome they added me on that shit. I keep pressing the wrong button. Yeah? Dude, I didn't even realize I was like adding anybody, to be honest with you. I was over here fiddle fucking with the phone. I was trying to light a cigarette, and it, but it don't really matter. You're more than welcome to hang out. <laughs> you can't wait for going crazy. <laughs> Happy Cinco to fucking Mayo, sir. Oh, yeah. Happy Cinco to Mayo to you, too, man. What you been up to today? Fucking worked. Came yes, home, huh? had tacos, I jammed, and then Hell I yeah. fucking started. Hell, yeah. I went out and... Hooked up Del Tacos tacos today. That was pretty cool. I never ate their tacos before. It was pretty good. That shit will give you the shits, dude. I ain't stopped farting, dude, since I fucking ate it. <laughs> <laughs> fucking A, dude. So we're going to add any more people up in here. Let's see. Oh, I can't invite the guest. Oh, well. No. Drinking on. Motherfucker. It's Cinco de Mayo. I'm a whiskey guy. Oh, right on. Give me some silver Jose Cuervo just because it's it's the holiday, dude. I had to do it. Why not? I would have done it too. All right, dude. All right, dude. So check this out. Fucking have you heard... 
of Shadow of Intense new album? Nope. No, but I keep hearing things about it. So check it out. Dude, that is the face of Deathcore right there, dude. Like, that is bringing it back. Like, All Shall Perish, Suicide Silence. Carnifex is still there, you know, obviously. Carnifex is still there. Whitechapel is still there, you know. Like, I'm talking about the bands that fucking, like, really fell off the bandwagon. Yeah. Well, Shadow's Fall, I'm not Shadow's Fall, but Suicide Silence didn't just fall off the wagon. They got ran over, too. So, just... <laughs> <laughs> oh dude they they got they got sound like a goddamn coyote fucking trapped in a trash compact dude that's what's happening dude you know like oh yeah who does i don't understand it but i mean i know they're like death tone but, shit, dude, but fuck. i'm not joking shadow of intent their new album brings all like it dude imagine fucking um all shall perish mixed with fucking uh, White Chapel mixed with fucking um, let's see here um, Des Fafara. Okay, I'm definitely checking. And then uh, dude, like like they even go into the pig squeals like fucking um, uh, oh man, they they dude, their album is on levels. Like from their vocals, vocals alone, they um, their their guitar, their their guitar, dude, their guitar playing is so intricate, yeah, that it blows my fucking mind, dude. It blows my mind how intricate it is between the drums, the bass, the the uh, synthonics, everything, dude. Like it blows my mind. Such a good fucking album. I'm gonna definitely check that out either tonight or tomorrow. Check it out because I know Spotify is gonna have it, so I go download it. Well, they're live streaming it. They're live streaming it on YouTube. So the oh, day it, that it, it came out, is it like the, a, a the day thing? that it came out? They fucking live streamed it on YouTube, and I was just like, I went to go listen to it, and I was just like, oh my god! Like right. I got off of work, I got off of work, and I listened to it, and I couldn't fucking put it down, dude. I was just like, oh my god, like. Wow. Dude, wow. You personally, I personally think that Shadow of Intent would blow your mind. I'll definitely check that out. The new Aborted Shit, album dude. was pretty good. Did you check out the new Aborted album yet? It came out, I think, I've last year. I've listened to a couple of songs of them, but I really got to sink down into it. I really got to sink down into it. You know, like, like I really enjoyed it. Uh, the new Meshuggah album. I'm still trying to get used to the new Meshuggah album. Dude, their it's last good. their it's last good, but... left you on a cliffhanger, dude. Okay. Like I was just <laughs> like, oh. I was kind of hoping for another Catch Thirty Three, but they didn't do it. But it's still good. I watched the making of the video, and they tracked everything live. It was pretty tight to watch them record. Have you listened to the new Gorgia album? Yeah, it was pretty awesome. I got it down. I fucking love it, dude. Playlist. It's pretty awesome. The new all fucking love all, the, new the new all that remains album is pretty good. They sound like I've listened to it a couple times, dude. But the thing is, is uh, when I uh, after I listened to it, and after I like truly listened to it, yeah, I started watching lyrical videos of it, and I'm yeah. just like, wow, you're a basic fuck, aren't you? <laughs> I've been a big fan of them for a long time too, so I can't say nothing bad. Dude, I've been a big fan of All the Remains. Big fan, but like, I, I didn't realize how basic they were until okay. I watched their fucking lyrical album, their lyrical videos, and I was just like, wow, you're pretty basic, aren't you, dude? <laughs> yeah. Well, sometimes basic works, so. <laughs> I'm kind of kind of disappointed me and Tom aren't playing no more. That's What's up with Tom, dude? Oh, he's he's doing his thing. Being Tom. <laughs> Fucking A, dude. It's always Tom, dude. Oh, yeah. Tom's a good dude. I love Tom. Tom's been my boy for a long, long fucking time, dude. Long fucking time. I remember playing down in his basement just with me and his fucking, uh, yeah, he had this, uh, uh, this drummer that was couch hopping 
from couch to couch, 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 from like Portland and everything. And he praised about him and shit. Yeah. And like we ended up playing with him, got in a fight with that motherfucker, and then I ended up moving out of the house. <laughs> That's <was> funny. <laughs> That's rock and roll for you. Dude, fucking rock and roll like a motherfucker, oh, yeah. dude. It was a rock and roll hello, rock and roll goodbye moment, you know. <laughs> Basically, what it does. Basically what it does, dude. Yeah, I had a little falling out mm-hmm. with the drummer too in the last band. Me and Tom were in, so maybe that's a curse for Tom. He just has bad drummers. I don't know. That poor. I, I think he scares him off, dude. He's a big motherfucker, you know, like big motherfucker, big beard, you know, like. <laughs> I'm big, I'm, yeah, I'm bigger than Tom, so. <laughs> Me and him oh shit! Right. No joke. Oh, dude, why do you guys got to scare off motherfuckers like that? <laughs> right, it, just, it, just, it happens, you know. People get scared, I guess. I don't know. I tell them, don't be afraid. I'm not going to bite. I don't have no goddamn teeth. You know? <laughs> uh. <laughs> I got Fucking like, metal like a motherfucker. I love it. Fuck yeah, dude. I got people asking all the time, are you ever going to like go get, get false teeth? I said, when Ethiopian kids get teeth, I'll get some, you know. <laughs> I got seven right, right, right. It worked just fine. Thank you. Dude, one of the bands that uh I know I'm still alive. really crack me up. It really crack me up. They crack me up these days. Have you ever heard of Bro Job? Yeah. They're like a fucking a walking meme of a band. Dude, all right, so so it's it's fucking a band that literally discriminates against fucking people that are anti-gay and all that shit yeah. and they really go with, they, they, they're they're anti-suicidal anti-gay anti you know like kill yourself like they're actually pretty fucking cool you know because they discriminate that shit but the, their quips yeah fucking crack me up they <laughs> crack me up dude they crack me up, dude. I was just like, oh, my God. Like, some of their shit, like, the guys, like, dude, you guys are so gay. I don't understand. Be like, well, I don't understand why you don't want to get your dick sucked from behind. Yeah. And it's just like, whoa, whoa, what? What? <laughs> like, are you kidding me? But, know, like, I- that's everything. That, like, they're, they're death core, but they sing about that shit. And it cracks yeah. me up, dude. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of people, they fucking, they hate that band, dude. And I would tell them all the time, they're like, how do you like that band? They're fucking gay and shit and sing about sucking dick. I'm like, apparently, you don't have a sense of humor. You know? That's basically that's what it is. is. It's, it, dude, it's just like listen to Cannibal Corpse or anything else. You know, like fucking when they want to, or uh, uh, Infant Annihilator, you oh, know? Yeah. Like oh, yeah. when, when, when they're talking about destroying an anal cavity of fucking infants yeah. and all that shit, you know? Like, it's just like, dude, it it's the same, same or, or fucking they thing. Did, uh, yeah, did the they want to suck your dick. <laughs> that shit made me laugh. My friend, one of my friends came over, he says, if you know, they put the gayest video, I'm not friend. I don't sound like him anymore. And I watched him and I was like, I couldn't stop laughing the whole fucking time in the video. Was going, this, is, this is fucking funny, dude. It's not, it's gay. It says funny. It was funny. So <laughs> then I showed him the uh, the cephalic carnage. You like cephalic carnage? You ever listen to them? I have, dude. I listened to their lyrics and I was just like, "Oh, yeah. wow." And um, okay, the overwarm. I think you guys say a video. Ain't nothing but like a porn. That's all it is, you know. The dude's <laughs> big explosion, and it's the best video ever, dude. I show everybody that video. Y'all show me. You want to see a cool God, music video? Yeah. I can I can show you a music video that's cooler than anything you ever seen in your life. And just <laughs> show them that video. They're like, What's fuck, that? man. They tell me I'm a nasty motherfucker. How could you like that? I'm like, dude, the dude's cock explodes at the end of the video. I mean, you can't ask for nothing more cooler than that. You know, this is like one of those fucking old school horror films. I'm I'm at a fucking dude over here in Las Vegas that his band. I'm sure if we think of him worse than Cannibal Corpse, like, his lyrics are fucking dark. They're fucked up. Yeah. And you're just like, you're, you're just like, what? <laughs> and then you meet the guy, and he's the sweetest motherfucker you've ever seen in your life. 
Yeah. And you're just like. Sometimes that's a good way to get it. Together, you're like, what the fuck? And, dude, like, no joke, dude. It blows my mind. It blew my mind because at first I was just like, oh, no, dude. Um, no. And then you go to you go to meet the motherfucker and he's just the sweetest guy, you know, sweetest guy you've ever seen in your life. And you're just like, wow. Okay. You know, it, it's, it's a gimmick. That's what it is. It's a gimmick. Oh, yeah, dude. I remember one time we played Johnny B's and my, one of my neighbors had, had showed up and I saw him, you know, and I ran out of CDs to give out. And shit. And so, like, I was like, dude, you live behind me, don't you? He's like, yeah, I see you every day. I was like, well, just follow me home from the bar. I'll hook you up. He's like, all right. So I got home and I said, it's going to take a few minutes. I got to burn it through the CD. So, you know, just chill with me in the living, in the kitchen or whatever. And uh, he walked in my house, dude. He was just looking around. And I was like, what the fuck's wrong? She says, you live like a grandpa. Ain't, you don't have nothing in your house and it's dark. It makes me nervous. Like, brother, sit down and fucking let me burn the goddamn CD. I'm not going to kill you. I promise. It's like, <laughs> Because <laughs> the way I live is like real minimalistic. I don't have too much. I don't. If I don't need the shit, I don't buy it. You know what I mean? So people come over like you live like an old dude. And like so, I don't need all kind of shit everywhere. You know. Shit's fucked up, dude. Like uh, dude over here in Vegas, dude. Like he talks about like injecting injecting a corpse with some side of, with, with some sort of drug yeah they fucking the corpse <laughs> until it fucking bleeds maggots until it comes out of his asshole like i, I dude like I, i'm just like <laughs> I, what the fuck and this guy's the nicest guy you've ever met in your life like nicest guy he's just like hey you want a cup of tea you know like that kind of guy I got lyrics. and you're just yeah. like you're just like what what did you just sing to me dude like <laughs> what <laughs> it's fucking amazing dude it's fucking amazing I'll, I'll, I'll send you the, dude i will send you the link dude it'll blow your mind yeah dude, dude, you're just that. gonna be like i'll check it out <laughs> dude, dude it like there there's some bands out there like infinite annihilator like where i'm just like it, it blows my moral compass because i'm a father yeah i am too i understand you know like it blows, listen, my, it blows my moral uh, compass where i'm just like uh <laughs> i don't know about that right. Uh, but you know, like on my metalhead scream, you know, I'm just like, oh, listen to that. <laughs> just listen to the guitar. Just listen to the guitar. Just listen to the guitar. <laughs> yeah, dude, where's that? Dude, it's fucking pretty amazing. Have you listened to Infinite Annihilator? Yeah, I've got both their albums. Oh, uh, dude. When, uh, I call it the Beast Scream. I call it the Beast Scream. Yeah. Where he's just like, yeah. Dude, blew my fucking mind. I was just like, these guys are amazing. They are. <laughs> I ended up showing my, my best buddy in the whole entire world. And I just ended up showing him. And he was just like, these guys are fucking amazing. And he ended up actually watching their lyrical videos. And he was right. like, I don't know how I feel about these guys anymore. Oh god! I was like, "Come on, dude! Come on!" I remember when I first when I first stumbled across him, I found like some of the drum playthroughs that dude did, you know, that plays drums for him, dude. And like, I, just, I couldn't stop watching them. And then I was like, "Oh, they got guitar playthroughs and bass playthroughs!" Like, fuck yeah! So fucking boring. So amazing! Oh yeah, the drum playthroughs. Oh my god, um, my drummer. Glenn, fucking, I've known him since ninth grade, and uh, he's my drummer right now. Nice. Like, dude, he, he bases himself off of a, a All Shall Perish and Infinite Annihilator, like, combining them both. Like, yeah. And listening, and listening to him play, it blows my mind because, it like, I could keep up with him, but on a, uh, on a scale, like, as a guitarist, yeah, I'm just like, you know, like I find myself falling back a little bit just because I'm just like, 
I'm building, I, I, I've been building myself up to that. But he is on another level from where I am. And I've been doing this for almost eight, 16 years now. Yeah, I know how you feel, man. Sometimes when I play at drummers like that, dude, I just tell myself, find the downbeat. You know, I just... <laughs> I love playing with, like, I love playing with people that are way better than me. Oh, same here, dude. AJ. The only, the only problem is, is, you know, like, having to stop him and be like, dude, dude, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I need you to go back, like, eight measures. <laughs> wait, wait. And do what you just did. I got something. He's just like, huh? Right. I don't understand. <laughs> because he's just going off of what he's doing. Yeah, I'm fucking getting, pisses I'm me off. Drummer. It's called Easy Drummer. As soon as I buy a fucking computer, I'm not even going to look for any more drummers. I'm just going to use digital drums. Because as soon as I get my, all my little recording shit set up, I'm just going to start making albums from home and maybe doing like Facebook shows like this, you know. They're pretty cool. Well, I, I, I think I lost it. Uh, no, hold on, buddy. All right, he's breaking up pretty bad. All right, there you go. Yo, Tommy introduced me no, to you a long time ago. Whenever I friended you, the, the or whoever friended who, so it was pretty cool to probably get to hang out, you know, for a minute. Can you feel? Can you see me? Yeah, I can see. Can you hear me? You gotta hear you, brother. You can't hear. No, me? I usually do my shit off of GarageBand. Um, I got a buddy that does uh, Logic Pro that he That's lives cool. like straight off of. That he, dude, he lives out of fucking um, Medford, Oregon. Okay. And he lives off a of Logic Pro for like probably mm. the last ten years. Sorry, no, it don't look swollen. Well That's a long time. I use uh, what do I use? I use uh, that Persona Studio One program. It works out pretty good. I was out of Fruity Loops before. That shit's too complicated, dude. Ask uh, ask Tom about fucking Perry Feldman. All right, I'll talk to him. I'm not joking. All right, ask Tom about Perry Feldman, dude. Perry Feldman will fucking hook you the fuck up when it comes to fucking some some straight up recording, like recording and you know like mastering and all that shit, dude. Like no I joke. I can record it myself. I just need a. I need a. That'd be good to know somebody knows how to master. I try to master shit, dude, and it just sounds like shit. Well. That's usually a dude. Perry's my best buddy, dude. Like that motherfucker. Wow, he is such a badass dude that um, created his own software when he was like 16 years old. Oh damn! And um, that's pretty gnarly. Literally, from 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 GarageBand to Logic Pro, he knows those. He knows those computer logic so well that it blows my mind. Right on. Like, he knows everything about it, like how to master, how to do all that shit. Um, Perry is my boy. Like, literally, Perry is my boy. When when I was talking to him and I was just like, hey, dude, I want to I wanna get into recording everything this dude was just like, Hey, hit me up. I'll give you discounts on this shit. I will help you get a Macintosh. I'll help you do this, this, and this, and this, you know, like, Oh yeah. That's good. This this dude knows logic and garage band and he will even explain it to you. Oh yeah. He'll even explain it to you. I know how to use garage band. Logic, you know, I have problems with. I tried Logic before. The only thing I could do within reason was uh, like mess around with, like the eight oh eights and the drum stuff and make Tom rap beats. It just... <laughs> I 
I'm kind of mad that my fucking hard drive awesome. died on my I had, a, I had our, uh, the Dire Lacerations demo sounded good because Tom bought this big ass like 32 track mixer or some shit. So we used that to do the drums. Then I imported the drums into my computer and did all the guitars and the bass like, and the vocals direct in, you know? Sounded awesome, dude. And then my fucking computer died and the hard drive fried itself and I was pissed. I was like, months, oh, worth, of work, months worth of work down the fucking drain. Because I was told Tom already, I said, dude. It's okay that the band's not around anymore, dude. I'm still going to put this CD out with you. You know what I mean? And then I, I was sitting there working on it one day, and my computer just fucking got super hot, and then it just clicked off, and then, like, I started going through shit and fucking stuff. I took it apart. Shit was melted. I had to, like, force some shit off of there. I was like, God damn. This is not my lucky day. I knew I should have backed all that shit up when I had a second a chance, dude. Fuck, dude. I know. That shit's brutal as fuck. Yeah. I remember the Dial Lacerations fucking composite right there, man. I remember when you guys were doing your own thing and all that shit. Dude, I used to watch that. Yeah. On Facebook when you guys would do it in, uh, what was it, uh, Tom's Backyard? Yeah, that was whatever. That was the drummer's yard. But he used to live there. Yeah, we used to do it on the, we used to do that shit on the side of the house, like on sunny days. It was pretty fun. We used their free neighborhood shows. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Heard nobody- no, I used to jam with I used to jam with Tom all the time when I fucking lived with him and then uh ended up moving away and doing my own thing, fucking moving to Moscow and all that shit. Fell away, but uh dude, Tom's such a badass. Dude, like he's such a badass, dude. He really is, dude. Yeah. Like his vocals like blew my mind. Blew my fucking mind. Yeah, I remember when I when I first met Tom, uh, my ex, well, my father in law at the time, he knew Tom, and said he did the same kind of music I did, and I was like, yeah, whatever, everybody does this shit. So I went down to the store one day, and I, he told me where he lived, and he lived like like literally like four or five houses down from me, you know. And I saw him standing out in the front yard one day, and I walked up and said, hey, you Tom? He says, yeah, here you. I said, such and such knows you. Told me that you uh you do death metal vocals. He says, yeah, what do you do? He said, I play guitar. He's like. Yeah, that's nice. And then I, we went our separate ways. And then one day he was walking to the house, and he said, "You got your guitar on you?" I said, "Yeah." And then we blew each other's mind. <laughs> <laughs> I still got that video on YouTube. Like, if you look up, what is it? Um, I think it's a like Garden of Grace first playthrough. It was me and him in my bedroom. I was like, "I'm gonna send you the link." It's it's it was pretty like the rawest, coolest thing we did. That was like, the first time we ever jammed together. To look it up, dude. Oh. Fucking when we actually jammed together, dude, that was uh before cell phones could do that shit. Yeah. <laughs> like literally, that's exactly before cell phones could do that shit. Yeah, I think that was uh when razors happened. Oh yeah, I remember the little phones. I couldn't do shit with that thing besides make phone calls. Little, sure. little little fucking flip razor shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I remember those days. It's our eleven thirty. All right, it was good hanging out well, with you. I'm gonna get out of here, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go find them links for you and shit. I'll talk to you after a while. Yeah, dude, fucking send those send send those links to me, dude. I would love to hear them. Fucking, uh, I'll uh, do the same back to you. I do a lot of acoustic shit. Um, I got my. Uh, I, I got my electric coming in here within the next couple of weeks, so. All right, that sounds good. I like them videos you be putting out, too. I watch them all when I see them. Uh, I appreciate it, dude. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I love yeah dude. Fucking, fucking, I, mean, I, I do a lot of, I a lot of time for it. it and, uh, I, like I said, I got my, uh, my electric coming in within uh, two and a half weeks. I got a personalized Ibanez. Oh, that perfect. I've been paying for, so hopefully that goes good. You know, like I usually, ah, uh, I I usually just go in and pay. Yeah. But this time I actually paid and just you know like went through the dealer. Mm-hmm. It's it's better to go that you way. Know, like time. and everything. So so I. I'm really hoping it goes well. I got a uh, Ibanez Eos 
with the collapsible fucking uh, bridge and a uh, collapsible bridge lock and uh, whammy bar. Um, That's gonna be rosewood, no. rosewood gold, rosewood gold on that. So I I, I paid about eight hundred and fifty dollars on it, and I do I've been saving up for probably about two and a half years on it. It's gonna be worth two and a half years. I saved up for a little while to get a Blackie Wallace uh, Warlock one time, dude. This is the best decision we ever made. This well, dude, I, I've always, I've always said that you know, like on a guitar, you really have to save up on it. You know, like especially on acoustic. Like I, I, I paid eight hundred and fifty dollars for my acoustic. Yeah. But I, I want a Taylor. Like I want a Taylor acoustic, which is almost. Thirteen hundred dollars. Yeah, that's a lot of money for for the tailor that I want. Thirteen hundred fucking dollars, dude. And so I'm just like, fuck. But I have an eight hundred and fifty dollar guitar, uh, guitar. So that's why I was just like, I need an electric thing. I do that, and that's why I went with the Ibanez Eos. Yeah, well, it's gonna be a good guitar. You know, it's a it's a soloing guitar, which is basically what it is. It's yeah. a soloing guitar. It's a Steve Vai guitar, which is I used to go for like two or three hundred dollar guitars. I make my own repairs to them, and they sound really expensive when I get done with them. Dude, any repair that you're going to do with the guitar is going to be expensive, dude. You know, like whether you buy a four hundred dollar four hundred dollar guitar and you make repairs to it. Is it expensive it's now because fucking Radio Shack closed? When Radio Shack was open, I get all the fucking shit I wanted. <laughs> fucking A, dude. Everything's done online. It pisses me off, dude. Gotta wait now. Hey. Fucking Carnifex hat. Yeah, I was checking that out. That's pretty badass. Right, I'm gonna get out of here. My phone's dying and shit. That's, I like that a lot. I'm going to think about order of you on one of these days. What does it say? I can't read it. It says slow death. Hell yeah. All right, I'm going to get out of here. My phone's like 15%. So you take it easy. Hey, dude, I'll you send you a minute. All right, man. I'll send you the links too on fucking Shadow of Intent and all that shit. Yeah, man. I look forward to it. All right, dude. All right, take bro, it bro, easy. Bro, Much bro, love. Bro, for sure. Much love to you too, man.